guess what I'm doing? I'm making some meatballs. And that's right, I'm going to show you how I make my meatballs Italian style. Okay? I got all my stuff up here, and we're going to get right into it. Let me show you what I'm using here. Okay, so what I'm using here, we got parsley, oregano, Italian style breadcrumbs, some Romano cheese, I have my diced up onion and garlic, if one pound of chopped meat, one egg, because I'm using one pound of chopped meat, you use one egg. If I was using two pounds of chopped meat, you use two eggs. Only doing one. I got my mixing bowl, I got my measuring cup, and I got my pan. All sprayed up, that way when I'm ready to roll these balls in my hands, I can put them on the tray, the frying pan, cookie sheet, whatever have you, and put them in the oven. Okay? Alright. So now you see all my ingredients, and right, I'm going to just start making this. I'm going to get my hands nice and sloppy, and I'm gonna just going to tell you step by step as I go. I'm going to go right up to the rolling part, and I'm going to get them all the way on that pan. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, first thing you do is you're going to take your chopped meat, throw it in the bowl. Disregard that, okay? Get it in there. Take your onions and your garlic, throw them in there too, okay? All in there. Mm. Get rid of that. Next thing, use my, my measuring cup here. And take my egg. Get my egg in there. Make sure you get no shells. Nobody likes shells. Get that in there, okay? Now, next thing is to do the cheese and the breadcrumbs. Now, I'm going to measure just for this video. So give you guys an idea of how much to use because I don't usually use metric cup. I just know, but we're going to put a cup of cheese in and I'm going to tell you right now, if you want a good taste of meatballs, it's all about the cheese. Add the right amount of cheese. Dump that in there, that's a good amount of cheese. Good. Now for breadcrumbs, we're also going to do a cup of breadcrumbs. And that should bring us to the consistency cup, okay? One cup. Dump that in there. Okay? Get all that out of the way. So now you got this big bowl of stuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your paw right here. Make sure you don't have any no jewelry on, bracelets. I already took my wedding ring off my bracelet off because they're going to get icky. Okay? Then you just get in there. And you start mixing. You're mixing it all together. Get it all up. The idea is you mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. All this. You see that? Now it's done. you got the meat. This is all going to be one big glob of awesomeness. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Okay, you know, it's going to get a little messy. But I'll tell you what, the payoff is going to be great. Now, there's different ways of making meatballs. Some people, you know, you could season however you want. I, I've mastered this to my own liking over many years. Well, I don't know how many years, whatever, since I've been cooking on my own, living on my own. I'm going to be 30 this year, so whatever. But you could bake them, you could fry them, you could put them in a crock pot and cook them like that. Some people throw them right in the sauce, you know, they make balls and they throw them in the sauce, like that, and you cook them like that. I don't like doing that because it makes it all, the sauce all greasy and everything, and I think it ruins the sauce, but that's just me. Some people fry them on top of the oven, and I don't like doing that either because I think it cooks them too fast and you can burn them easy. So what I do is I like to bake them in the oven on, like, at like 350 kind of low. You know, the idea is make them, bake them low and slow. That way they cook from the inside out. Okay? Alright, I think we got that. Look at that. I mastered that. Got that. The measuring is darn close to what I need it to be. And then you can usually, if you give it a little smell, yeah, it smells good. That cheese is in there really good right now. So these are going to come out good. I think they're going to come out great. Okay, so the next step is you want to, I mean, it depends on how big you want them. You, know, you can make meatballs like this, or, you know, that's too big, that's ridiculous, that's like a meatloaf. You know, you want to get like, on like golf ball size, you know, it depends on how big you like them. You know, some people could do them, do them like that, do them smaller if you want, you know, maybe you're going to put them in a soup or something. Just get a small, but I'm going to do them about that size. I like that size, it's a good size. Now, the key here is, Some people roll them, some people, you know, throw them against the wall or something silly like that. Me, I kind of took a cue, another cue from Goodfellas here. 
Because when they were making meatballs, Henry Hill was making meatballs in the kitchen. I watched him doing this. But actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of doing it harder because the way he was doing he was doing it like that. He wasn't really getting nothing done. And he'd be there all day. So you just, I just take him and I just toss him in my hand back and forth until it's nice and packed. And the idea is, is to get no cracks. You don't want no cracks in them because then the heat escapes when it's inside the oven. And you can't have the heat escape. You know, I like to keep it all nice and sealed. So that's the idea. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go roll the rest of these up. And then we'll get back together when I'm ready to put this in the oven. Okay? All right. We'll be back. Voila. Okay. So I got my meatballs all rolled. And I realized I forgot to put in the oregano and the parsley. I don't think I did. Not a big deal. You put whatever you want in there. You know, I mean, the Italian seasoning from the breadcrumbs is more than enough seasoning anyways. So, oven's already preheated at 350 degrees, and we're going to go throw them in now. So here we go. Open up the stove, you put them in. I always put them on uh, the top shelf, which is near the middle anyways. And that's it. You just throw them in there, let them cook for about, I don't know, about uh, 30, 45 minutes or so. Okay, so then what you're going to do is um, you take a fork and once you see that they're cooking and they're, you know, you, you'll know when they're cooking, uh, roll them. That way you just roll them once, let them cook on that side for probably about another 10 minutes. After that, basically at the end, of, at the end, if you could stick a fork in it and it does not fall off the fork, you should be good to go. Now, it depends if you like them crispier or, or you know, however you might like them. If you want to tweak it to your own liking, go for it. But, um... Just remember, when they're done, you should be able to stick a fork in it, and you just give it a little nudge, it, it shouldn't come off the fork. If it comes off the fork, it's not done. You need to throw it back in the oven. Alright, we'll check back when these babies are done. Yeah! Let's see how our meatballs are doing. Ooh, that smells delicious. Alright, this is the part where we're going to roll them a little bit. A nice brown on one side. Roll them. Use a fork, use tongs. Okay. Hold it a little bit. It's good, they're not sticking. I always just use a fork. You know, no competition to get them done. They'll be done when they're done. Let's hold the damn thing. Bite it. That's a good one right there. Mm. Be careful you don't burn yourselves either. Oven hot. Okay. Good. Alright. A few more minutes and they'll be done. I think these puppies are done. Yup, we are in business. Pull these out right there. Mm-hmm. This on top of the stove. Remember when I said you do your fork test. Fork one. See? It's good. We are good. So, next step. Next and final step. Basically, your meatballs are done now. Let's get a close-up of these babies. Look at that. Mmm-mm. -mm. Oh, they smell good. So now, I like to throw mine in the sauce. So, some people don't like them in the sauce. It's a matter of preference if you want to throw them in the sauce or not. So, what you do is you get your sauce stirred and just start tossing them in. Don't, don't toss them in uh, too heavy because you don't want to splash the hot sauce. That's it. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Throw them in there. Smell that basil. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you want to check out my, uh, got my hand. I'll show you my video on how to make the sauce. That's on here too. So look that up. Make yourself some sauce and some meat the balls. Mmm-mm. And there you have it. Meatballs by Rich Iso. Italian style. Stir it up, get them all in there, get them sauced up, get your pot ready on the oven because you're going to make some pasta next, and then you're going to help yourself an Italian dinner with meatballs, sauce, and pasta. Oh boy. All right, that's all I got. I hope you uh, enjoy the meatballs. If you got any questions, please let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Just ask your questions. I'll be happy to help you. I'll see you later. Manja, manja.